Okay, hey guys, um, welcome to my preliminary spring forecast, I guess you could say, but it's part one of three. Um, if you guys watch a lot of my videos, you know that um, I usually do one per month leading up to that season, uh, just so I have a lot of time to study. So it, it, I've had it to where it doesn't alter and it actually turns out right. Um, so I also do... Um, monthly forecasts. Um, that's only for America because I'm actually going to start uh, forecasting for Canada and Mexico. Uh, right after this I'll have my Mexico and uh, Canada spring forecast. Uh, and I translate everything with Google Translate and put it on the pictures, so that's pretty cool. Um, but let's get right into it. Um, here's my temperature forecast. Um, we get warmer than average right here in the Rockies, um, going all the way into the plains. Um, up into Montana, Washington, Oregon, and most of uh, California. Then we get to the slightly above uh, warmer than average, um, where we get Southern California, Southern uh, Arizona, Southern New Mexico. I, I get this too mixed up sometimes, but uh, most of Texas, all of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, da 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 da, -da. Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky. Missouri, Indiana, or Illinois, and portions of uh, Virginia, southern and southeast, southern Virginia. Okay, now let's go on to the precipitation forecast. Well, we've got above average precipitation here because I think that the rainy season will continue until, uh, it will be a little bit of a late ending uh, rainy season, which is obviously winter time if you guys didn't know. Uh, slightly below average precipitation in these zones, um, which is not, which is probably how winter is going to turn out also. Uh, slightly above average precipitation in these zones um, due to uh, thunderstorms and lots of fronts coming through. Let's check out my overall forecast. Warm with lots of rains in this zone. Warm and dry in this zone hot and dry in this zone. I know that this is the slightly above average zone, but it's still so far south that slightly above average makes it hot and just makes this area warm. Severe weather in this zone is probably likely. Um, we're probably going to see more severe weather than last year, so we're going to have to keep a good eye on that. So um, I hope you have your storm shelters ready. I don't think they have to be ready. You just have to get them, and then they're all automatically ready, but whatever. I don't live there, so I don't but severe weather possible in this zone. This is like the zone that um, that separates warmer than average from colder than average. So this is why I think that there could be some severe weather up here, even though I think that it will be too cold. Cold with average precipitation. I think I spelled that wrong. Precipitation. Precipitation. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I did precipitation. Yeah, I suppose something wrong, but whatever. More thunderstorms than our last year. Uh, hold up, I, do, I really need to see that. Oh, that's stupid. Yay, fixed it. Yep, I'm stupid. Okay, now let's check out the ending. Thanks for watching. Part 2 will be out around February 5th, and Part 3 will be out around March 5th. So that's um, one next month and one the month after. And then uh, March 22nd, it becomes spring. So that's when um, our forecast will have to verify. But anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.